Happy holidays, everyone. Welcome to my channel. My name is Kristen. Today I'm guiding you through a Christmas yoga flow to cultivate the presence of peace in the body, the mind, and the heart. And we'll be working with yin and yang yoga postures to bring together the subtle cleansing heat of the yang with the cooling waters of the yin. And when these two energies come together, they generate light within us. And this is the light of peace in the heart. So we'll start today by coming onto our back and we'll be working with a rolled blanket or a bolster for the upper back. So you can take that prop across the mat and add another blanket or pillow to support your head. So we're coming into a supported back bend for the heart center. You can either stretch your legs in front of you or come into recline butterfly pose, bringing your prop across the shoulder blades, making sure that the shoulder girdle is off of the prop and onto the ground. Your head fully supported, you might be adding more height than I have here. You have to feel into your own body and adjusting the prop underneath you so it's not too low down and also not too high up. Opening across the collarbone, resting your arms, closing your eyes. Taking a few breaths in and out through your nose to arrive. Feeling the bones drop into the earth, connecting through the base of your skull, hips, wrists and heels, breath flowing effortlessly through the lungs and the chest. And dropping your inner gaze, your point of attention to the space of the heart, right at the center of your chest, softening the space. And imagining at this space, a candle flame burning bright. Feeling into the warmth of the candle flame. And the light of the candle flame. Each breath that you draw in, feeding the flame, expanding the flame. The flame rising up from the heart to the space between the eyebrows and to the mind. Feeling the flame at the eyebrow center. The light of the heart illuminating the mind. Waves of peace moving through the whole body, your body at peace. A 
heart resting in the space of peace. Mind at peace. You can reach your arms behind you, take a hold of opposite elbows, take a big breath here. Relax your arms, help your knees in towards each other, set the soles of your feet to the ground, and we'll roll off of our prop to one side. And you can slide your props off to the side, coming all the way up and into child's pose, widen through your knees, sink your hips, back towards your heels, fold the lower rib cage over your thighs, stretch your palms out in front of you, rest your forehead. Breathing into the space of the heart between the shoulder blades. And with each breath, imagine that you're connecting to the warmth and the light of the candle flame walking both palms all the way over to the right side, sinking back and down through the left hip. Breath expanding through the side of the rib cage. Palms draw back through center, lengthening the spine, breathing here. Exhaling to the left. Dropping back through the right hip. And we'll bring the body back through center. Take a breath, float up to all fours, palms under your shoulders, tucking your toes underneath you. Float your hips up, lengthen through the leg bones, downward facing dog. Feeling the shoulders soften away from your ears and the tailbone tilt. Decompressing your spine. Breath expanding through rib cage and chest. Knees soft. Floating back to your knees. Shoulders over wrists. Let's take a breath, arcing the heart forward. Looking up. Exhaling to round back. Tailbone extending, heart reaching forward. Exhaling, rounding back. Bringing some gentle cleansing heat along the spine. Exhale to round back, really root down through your palms, feel the shoulder blades widen apart. 
Inhale, come back to a neutral spine. Keep your hips over the knees. Walk your palms forward. Anahatasan, heart melting pose. Forehead rests to the ground. Elbows stay slightly elevated. Tailbone curled up. Back of the heart resting towards the earth. Stay rooted through your palms. Hug the belly button back. Lower to your forearms by bending your elbows and sliding down to your pelvis. Untuck your toes. Feet are hip distance apart and curl the pinky toes towards the earth. Feel the tailbone lengthen to the heels and the heart broaden forward, collarbone wide, ears sliding in line with the shoulders. Breathing into the center of the heart. Imagining the candle flame at the heart. The presence of peace deep within. Reach your palms open to the corners of the mat, root through the palms, lengthen the arm bones, lift the heart. The pelvis drops, throat stretches open, looking up. Exhaling lower down to the elbows, widen the elbows. Palms stacked on top of the palms, rest your forehead and breathe. Take your palms again under your shoulders. Engage the belly as you float up. Drop your hips back to your heels, rounding your spine for a moment, full breath out. Inhaling, floating back to all fours, rooting through your palms. Draw down through the thumb and the first finger as you press back to downward dog. Soften your knees, tilt the tailbone. The heart sinks forward as the arm bones draw back into the shoulder socket. Breath continues. Feeding the flame at the heart. feeling down into your right palm. And as you root through the right palm, float your right leg up behind you. And taking a big stretch through the leg, exhaling, stepping your right foot forward between your palms. And lower to your back knee, an inch or two in front of the kneecap. Inhale here, lengthen your spine, float the palms forward and up. As you come up, draw the tailbone in head over your pelvis. Stay lifted up through the crown of your head. Exhale your hands to your heart center, resting your thumbs at the heart. Let the elbows soften and the neck lengthen. Stay rooted through your thumbs and your first and your pinky finger, and then widen the middle three fingers away from each other, coming into Lotus Mudra at the heart center. Feeling the tailbone growing roots into the earth, keeping you steady and strong. As the breath lifts up into the center of your chest, imagining 
the lotus of the heart. And the sensation of peace moving through your breath. Exhaling to fold forward, drawing the lotus flower back down to the earth. And we'll take our left fingertips underneath our shoulder and open to a twist to the right side, twisting through the abdomen, floating your back knee up, charging up through the muscles. Nice broad heart, just like a nice big wingspan as you lean back. Top shoulder relaxed. Exhaling, top palm comes down to the ground. Look forward. Step to the top of your mat. Folding over your legs. You can bring a nice deep bend through the knees, resting the abdomen to the top of your thighs, letting your head hang, adding any support you need under your palms and shifting the weight of your body over your ankles, widening through the four corners of your feet. Bringing your palms to your sacrum, either interlace your fingers here or take a hold of a strap or a belt and stretch the palms to the sky, heart hanging to the earth, head relaxed. And palms dropping towards the top of your mat. Exhaling, hands come back to your sacrum. Slide your hands down the backs of your legs. Take a breath, lift your heart halfway up. Big breath in. Exhale and fold. Rooting through your right foot again. Step back with your left. Bend through the right knee, pivot your back foot to a 90 degree angle, heel to heel alignment. Your front knee presses open to the second and third toe. Spine is nice and long. And bring our left hand to our hip and float the right elbow to your thigh. Wrap your hip underneath you, broaden across the pelvis, draw the belly button back. Opening the heart. Stretching the top palm up, side angle pose, and then bending at the top elbow and slide the palm across the sacrum to the opposite hip. Wrapping the hip underneath you, tailbone rooted to the back heel. Taking a breath. One more breath here, feeling the breath rising up into the chest. Exhale, unwind the arm. Bring your hands to either side of the front ankle, lengthen the leg, step back, downward dog. Taking a breath out. Inhaling, either come to all fours and draw the right knee forward behind the wrist or float your right knee behind the wrist from downward dog, flexing through your foot, coming towards pigeon pose. Take a breath, inhaling, lengthen up along the spine. Bring your fingertips under your shoulders, and we'll take a big breath here. On the exhalation, fold forward, draw the elbows open to the sides of the room, and then roll all the way up on the breath, inhaling up into the heart, Exhaling, drawing forward. 
Inhaling, rolling up. And as you exhale, let's draw forward and relax. You can untuck your back toe and stack your palms under your forehead. Keeping the pelvis at a neutral position and softening through your shoulders. Let's inhale, lifting the heart. Take a breath. Tuck your back toes, slide the knee forward. You can either release through all fours or you can press back to downward dog. Taking a breath, hugging the navel center back. Stay on all fours or come forward into plank pose from downward dog. Drawing the navel center back, broaden the heart, root the tailbone. Exhale to your knees and draw the heart down towards the earth. Elbows draw straight back as you slide onto your belly. Let's take our palms underneath our shoulders, hugging the elbows to the side of the rib cage, rooting down through your pelvis and down through the tops of your feet, inhaling Bhujangasana, Cobra Pose. Heart draws forward and up. Exhaling, rolling the heart center forward and down. Inhaling to lift. Exhaling to lower. And one more time, big breath in. Holding as you lift. and lead with the heart center as you roll forward and down. Tucking your toes, pressing to all fours, hips to heels, take a breath, round back. Inhaling, floating back to all fours, exhaling, downward dog. And breathing. Rooting here in downward dog. Finding stillness, finding breath, and feeling into your left palm, stretching the left toes up and back behind you. Exhaling, left foot forward between your palms, lower to your back knee, lengthen along the spine, take a breath, reach up, lunge pose. Drawing the tailbone in, exhaling hands to heart center and softening through the elbows and shoulders. Take a breath, keep the thumb and the pinky fingers together and open up Lotus Mudra. Your breath filling up the center of the palms like an overflowing fountain. Your inner gaze resting 
on the quality of peace. We'll exhale, hinging forward, bringing the right fingertips under the shoulder, twisting to the left, the left palm reaches up, back knee floats up. Finding a little bit more rotation through the spine, leaning back. Exhaling top palm to the ground and stepping forward, standing forward fold. Nice deep bend through the knees. And again, you can just rest your palms to the earth to a yoga prop. Floating your hands to your sacrum, finding the opposite interlacing of the palms. Yoga mudra, reaching the knuckles to the sky. Palms drawing to the top of your mat. Exhaling, hands to your sacrum, bringing the palms down the backs of your legs. Inhaling, heart draws forward, halfway up. Exhale and fold, feeling into your left foot. Stepping back with your right. Pivot your back foot to 90 degrees. Front knee stable, drawing over the ankle and moving to the second and third toe. Right hand to hip, left elbow to thigh, and then opening up to the side, feeling the pelvis come into a stable position, tailbone rooted, lower rib cage drawing down, heart broad and open. Breath expanding through the heart. You can bind the top arm. One more breath. Exhale, unwind, lengthen the front leg, pivot on your back foot, step to downward dog. And again from here, you can either lower down to your knees or you're floating your left knee behind the left wrist from downward dog, flexing through your foot, engaging the core. Protecting the knee by keeping the foot flexed and drawing the heel towards the groin. Lift the heart, take a breath. Exhale, widen the elbows, fold forward. Inhaling, rolling up, breath expanding into the chest. Exhaling, bowing forward. Inhaling, rolling up. Exhaling, lower down, coming to rest. Untucking the back toe and melting the bones.
Take a breath, lift your heart. And as you lift up, drop over to your left hip and bring your legs in front of you. Shaking out your legs. Adding support underneath the sits bones. Bending your knees, drawing the heels towards the groin, soles of the feet together. Baddha Konasan, butterfly pose. Resting through the thigh bones and the knees, hands to your ankles. Closing your eyes, take a big breath. Imagining in your mind's eye the flame of the heart. warmth of the flame and the light of the flame circulating through the blood and the tissues as you hinge forward from your hips sliding your palms to your toes interlace your fingers let's take an active stretch here for a few breaths Walk both palms over to the right knee, hands to either side of the knee, lift your heart, and then exhale and melt forward and down. You can let the head hang. If you need some props, just bring some extra support under your forehead. Muscles relaxed and the bones drop. Inviting in the cool nature of water. Soothing the systems of the body. Nourishing the tissues and joints. Sweeping the body through center and very slowly over to the left. Hands to either side of the left knee, head dropping over the knee, adding support so that the muscles can relax and let go. Sweeping your body back to center. Surrendering the whole body over the ankles. Dropping through the shoulders and head. You can stay here if you'd like to slide your forearms underneath the calf muscles. You can make sure this is an appropriate, appropriate modification.
Unwind your arms, take a breath, roll all the way up. Inhaling as you lift. Bringing your knees together, sliding any props away from the mat. Bringing your hands to your shin bones, let's inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, rounding back, chin to chest. And a few more times, broad heart, big breath. Exhale, rounding back. And let's exhale, round back, a drop down to your forearms. And help yourself down to your back, lengthening the spine as you come down. Knees to your chest, hugging the thighs closer towards the chest. Breathing here. Open your arms into a T-shape and drop both knees to the right, bringing your hands on top of your thighs. Opposite shoulder softens, head dropping over to the left. Big breath through the chest, both knees float back up. Exhaling your knees over to the left and your head to the right. And then let's float the knees back. We'll hug our knees to our chest. Exhale, round our spine. Relaxing your shoulders and your head back. And coming into Shavasan. Stretching your legs out, your palms alongside the body. Bones heavy. Eyes closed. Feeling the light at the heart center. Sensing and feeling into the qualities of the light. The light spreading through the bones and tissues of your body, the systems of your body. How does your body feel when you're at peace?
Take three big breaths into the heart space. Letting the light envelop the heart. Notice how your heart feels when it's at peace. Stretching through the whole body, big stretch. Bend your knees, roll over to one side. Coming into a comfortable seated position, let's revisit Lotus Mudra, bringing the wrist together, the thumbs and the pinky fingers, and opening up the remaining fingers, just like petals of a flower. And as though you were breathing in the scent of the flower, breathing in the qualities of the heart, feeling the light expanding into your mind. How does your mind feel when you are at peace? Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti Om. Bringing your palms together, taking a breath in. Let's Om one time together, closing our practice. Uh, and having a peaceful holiday season. Namaste. Thank you for spending your time with me today for your yoga practice. Please do remember to subscribe to the channel for more yoga videos and like the video and please do share with your friends. Until next time, have a wonderful holiday.